You are looking live at a Falcon 9 rocket on the launch pad at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. At 1.16 this afternoon, the aerospace company SpaceX will launch a Dragon cargo spacecraft on a NASA mission to resupply the International Space Station. Good afternoon and welcome everyone to NASA's Kennedy Space Center for our live team coverage of the launch of cargo resupply mission number 16 for SpaceX. I'm your host, Daryl Nail. As you can see behind me, the iconic NASA countdown clock, which is counting us down to launch. It currently reads about 30 minutes until launch. It is a beautiful day here on the Space Coast as we count down to this mission to fly much needed astronaut supplies and research experiments up to the International Space Station. And we have a team of correspondents across the country helping us to cover all the angles of this launch. We will head across the river here to the Mission Director's Center to get updates on the weather and the countdown. And we'll head way out west to SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and check in at Mission Control Houston in Texas. We also have a correspondent standing by with a live interview of Kennedy Space Center Center Director Bob Cabana. But first, here are some quick facts you need to know about today's launch. SpaceX transported the Falcon 9 rocket out to the launch pad and lifted it to vertical launch position for the 16th cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. The launch window today is instantaneous, which means SpaceX must launch at the exact second for the planned liftoff or try again another day. The Dragon spacecraft will deliver about 6,000 pounds of astronaut supplies and payloads for science research to the orbiting laboratory. The plan is to keep the Dragon spacecraft docked to the station for about five weeks before bringing it back to Earth. When it does, the capsule will splash down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. And today's launch was originally scheduled for yesterday, but it was delayed 24 hours in order to replace contaminated food in one of the rodent experiments, testing the effects of aging in space. The new food was flown in overnight and was loaded into the Dragon spacecraft and is now ready to go. The move did come with a big benefit. Weather conditions for launch improved dramatically. Let's bring in NASA's Joshua Santora, who is in the Mission Director Center, just a few miles away from the launch pad. It was a little breezy earlier today, Joshua. It settled down a little bit. How is the weather looking for launch, though? Yeah, good afternoon, Daryl. You're 100% you're right. We did have a little bit stronger winds earlier, but they have calmed down. Uh, and right now, everything is go for launch. We heard from Clay Flynn, the launch weather officer for the U.S. Air Force 45th Space Wing Weather Squadron, reporting that we are 90% go for launch. That means, there, that means there's a 10% chance that we're going to violate our weather con constraints for launch. And it really is just those ground level winds that are, are a potential problem. Again, we're still go for launch. Uh, upper level winds look good and everything else. Uh, obviously, there you can see the sky is very, very clear today. It is a beautiful day outside. A great day for launch. Uh, we're also uh, we heard earlier that our uh, our colas or our collision on launch assessment is clean, which means we have no issues there. The range keeping an eye on things for us for public safety. And at 38 minutes to go, we had the uh, the poll from the SpaceX launch director uh, Mike Taylor who gave us a, a, a go for fueling, which began at 35 minutes and counting. So we are into the first stage fueling. So Daryl, everything looking good? Back to you. Some beautiful shots on the pad there, Joshua. Thank you for the update. And we'll check back with you a little later uh, to see how the rocket's doing. 